Welcome friends, Retro Commodore Space Magic. This game here is, um, it's a game. It's definitely a game. It's Space Dude. Uh, the closest thing I could compare this game to is Dragon Slayer, where you have to do things at certain times yeah while uh while working your way through through different scenes so that's that's whoa whoa that's space dude this is space dude it's um definitely some oh Definitely something else. It, yeah, it's, it's something. Oh, oh. Okay. There is sort of a storyline that that goes with this game. I'm guessing it, it would make sense. And this screen is is a screen that i guess the storyline is this giant spider thing is attacking this town and you're trying to tr trying to help out or or something i i'm not i yeah Okay, so here I'm guessing we just have to dodge the missiles. And I think every time you play the game, the sequence of events is a little different, perhaps depending on how well you do on one of the screens, on, in one of the scenes. But yeah, I, I don't know what this game is supposed to be about. It's it's Space Dude. It's, it's a very unique game game at least in the upper right hand corner of the screen it shows you what directions you can move in any given scene and uh, how many different things you have to deal with how many different whatever it is how many different things you have to do in order to be successful with that particular scene jazz, jazz yeah Okay. So apparently we built a defense post by playing that last mini game thing. And now we're using the defense post to fend off this whatever it is. Come on there, thingy. And it looks like we have to hit it 22 more times, but it's getting awfully close. 19 more times to go. I guess the uh, goal here is to attack it, hit it as many times as you can while it's farther away before it gets close. By the way, did I did I mention this is a DOS game? I'm not I'm not sure if I did. If if I didn't mention that, well, this is a DOS game. 
So if you like to collect DOS games, if you're interested in DOS games, especially if you're interested in sort of unique games, then uh, this is definitely one to look at. It's very unique. It looks like our, our gun barrel is getting a bit ragged. But we only have to hit it two more times. Come on. One. Two. <laughs> okay, so we succeeded there. So now we have to build another defense post, I guess? Right. Right here? So I suppose the idea behind this scene must be that you're flying to where you want to build the defense post and you're having to avoid this this airship thing. Of course, my question is why is Space Dude the only one that appears to be capable of building and manning these defense posts. Well, I guess because that's the point of the game, isn't it? So... Uh-oh. <laughs> so, uh, basically, the game seems to be equal parts cutscene and, and somewhat interactive game. Now, are, are we supposed to get the... Oh, no, we're supposed to dodge things. Okay. Dodge these strange alien fish. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's head to the uh, lower left here. So we have 16 to go as we dodge more of them. Come on, and there's more off on the horizon. Twelve to go. So the game is really just played with the arrow keys. The movements just match the arrows that you see on the screen there. So, it's a pretty simple game to control. In, in that there aren't a lot of complicated controls to use. Okay, so now we're... We're, uh... No, that, well, that's not... Uh, we're, that's not the best way to play that scene. But apparently you're... Oh, come on, people. Come on. So apparently you're supposed to avoid the thingy and shoot the thingy. Oh, and now it's another one of these scenes here. Almost there. We're getting to, uh... 
to knock it out farther away this time than the first time. But the cannon continues to look really ragged. There we go. Or, or maybe, maybe there we don't go. No, it looks like they destroyed the defense post. Now on this, this screen here, I'm guessing the number that it shows by space dude's face is in some way related to maybe the number of resources you have available to build more defense posts. Or, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make some sense of this game, you see. I'm trying to make some sort of sense of this game. Into the mountain. Well, there's a cave there. Wonder if that factors in at all. Well, so we're just bouncing down the mountain and having to go left and right and avoid the obstacles. Whoop. Okay, nine more obstacles to go, and then we can get our space board, I'm guessing, our space board back. Two more obstacles, one more obstacle. Yes! And we have our board back. Okay, so here we have to avoid its thing until we, we turn around. Well, that was a lot easier than when we were using our uh, big, powerful defense post. Ah, and now they cheer our return. So we have 15 thingies, but this says 30 thingies. And when we move the crosshairs around, the numbers change. We have attack and defend. I guess we'll just attack this thing. Okay, so some sort of space storm thing, which... Well, that worked well. Of course it's an alien, right? Oh, well, it wins. And so despite that, we still get to fight this thing anyhow.
Yeah, so wonderful greeting. So now that thing's getting closer to the city, and the city's being, yeah, being bombed, it would appear. So now we use a city turret. The firing is happening automatically. We're just trying to get that thing. Trying to smackify it. Oh, that worked well. Hmm. I'm guessing that must be what they uh, hired us for. Yeah, good. And back to this menu screen. And these are the options. It looks like they're just sound options. So that's uh that's space dude for for DOS. It's um it's a game all right. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to subscribe to be notified of whenever I post a new video. Liking is a wonderful thing to do. And tune in again next time for more retro fun. Hmm. Different different plants this time. We might have to revisit this game again later. Retro fun.